With the likes of Fernando Alonso racing in F1 in his 40s while still being competitive, there are those who feel that the likes of Max Verstappen will also follow suit. Max, however, does not want to follow this trend, and he has now explained why to the media in Abu Dhabi. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Max Verstappen reveals one reason why he wants to retire before 40. Max started off by giving his thoughts on whether Red Bull's cost cap breach played a part in all the negative backlash he received over the last few days. I don't think so. He then reiterated why all the criticism is ridiculous. In this paddock, to be honest, not only fans but a lot of people, what they have been writing about me is ridiculous. I mean, you don't know the real story, so you don't need to write the story. He then explained why he can not just ignore all that has been said and written about him. When your own sister tells you that you have to do something about it because it's too much, that says enough. Of course, that does something to me, because you shouldn't touch my family. He then signed off by responding to where he stands on continuing in F1 long term. It's not only related to that, to be honest, but I won't be here when I'm 40, that's for sure. Fast feed. Retired F1 driver Sebastian Vettel feels the team leadership at Haas is sometimes, yeah, I don't want to say, but sometimes it's difficult to understand. I think Mick absolutely deserves a seat. The season was certainly not easy for him. Here and there, maybe he did a mistake. But I think the team was also not blameless or innocent, at least from the outside. Retired F1 driver turned pundit Martin Brundle, meanwhile, thinks that the team were fed up of Mick's entourage and all the pressure that comes with that. He has been dropped by Ferrari as well, so it's difficult times for him. Mick will pop up somewhere else. I think he's worthy of a place on the grid. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton explained that it was really important, so that's why he asked the group in Mexico whether they would be open to all doing a dinner to give Seb a farewell. It was the best evening. Everyone was laughing so much. Great stories. Seb is a great leader. We had that photo, and it was the most harmony any driver group has ever had, I would imagine. Maybe not in history, but definitely in these 15 years. FIA President Mohammed Ben Salem stated, On the leak, we were in Austria, we were having the F1 Commission meeting, and while we were talking about it, it was already in the news. It's frustrating sometimes, because before you've finished your meeting, something has got out. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner pointed out that they went through Mercedes' pain after a dominant 2013. With the change of regs in 2014, we were nowhere, but we never lost belief and people's heads dropped. Everyone has focused on that goal of winning the championship. We did it last year, and we've gone a step further to win the Constructors after eight long years. And now Aston Martin driver Fernando Alonso wished that all the bad luck of this year hopefully compensates in the next. Does Mick Schumacher deserve a place on the F1 grid? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.